guys welcome to expertizer academy today we're going to see uh, three different functions so one is uh, creating a new drawing um, that is once you within an autocad you can run a command create a new drawing that's one thing <coughs> and then save and save as command so that is the second one so there is no much of a difference between save and save as i'll let you know little little tricks that we can do to do a difference between them okay and then um drawing saved status do you want to check before you close anything just want to check if you want to if the drawing is saved if it is saved you can close it if not you can save or save as and then you can close it so these commands are like say very very handy commands guys so every time i work on any of these autocad plugins i generally have my own helper library which has a lot of these functions probably i'll have an improvised version of these ones so these are all pretty standard from the dotnet developer guide so i'll have i will have some improvised version which does a um, few more checks pretty much you know just making sure if the backup file has been uh, renamed or deleted and whatever you want to do uh, you know generally it has some more some more additional stuff that does it does okay let's get to it uh, so first thing is uh, creating a new drawing very simple function um, so what we do is we're gonna get the autocad acad.ddbt file and create a ddbg file so remember autocad drawing cannot be created without any template so it needs a template to create a drawing from so this is a template we're going to use and then uh, we're going to go into the document collection and uh, that is the document manager pretty much and get the document collection and we go into the document manager and add a new document and we specify the template path so that is a ddbg file where we want to add a new ddbg file from ddbt from ddbg file and then uh, we're going to set that as the active document and remember we have not given any name towards so the name will be default will be drawing one drawing two or something like that so we have not specified any of those params so that's that's all we do in the new drawing and the second one is uh, save active document document so that's whichever whichever the drawing is active it will you, you can run this command it, it tries to save it so we get the active document and then uh, we get the document name and remember sometimes the document name when you create it from a ddbg file it will be ddbg drawing one drawing two drawing three and things like that so in that case you know you need to specify a proper name so we get what's the name is and then uh, we get the object so that is the uh, a system variable called ddbg uh, title zero so this is basically uh, means that the drawing has not been renamed if this value let's say if this value is zero then the um, file has not been renamed okay so that is what we're checking so once we get the object so we converting that into a int variable and then check if it is zero so if it is zero then the file has not uh, has not been renamed so it's a fresh file fresh file and then we need to give a proper name to it so i'm going to give it as my ddbg dot uh, my drawing dot ddbg and then save the drawing so the save save as uh, it's the same thing so you just specify name to it and then it saves and the next thing is check whether the drawing has been saved so we get the object the same as this one so this is the command to get the system variable and uh, so this time we're going to get the um, system variable called db mod so this is always a good idea before you quit any autocad session either using code or uh, using a plugin or uh, closing a drawing anything that you want to do uh, exiting out of autocad or drawing so you just go to the system variable which is db mod uh, remember ddbg file is a db it's a database file flat file database like an sql sqlite and um, then we checking uh, the system variable value for db mod so let's say if the value for db mod if zero then the drawing has no unsaved changes so that means uh, let's say if you draw a rectangle you save it and uh, then if you try to close it there is no new changes so now pretty much you know if um, then the, the value uh, will be zero that means there is no changes and then let's say if you draw another couple of uh, circles and things like that then there is new items that you have added which we have not saved it so then the value 
will not be zero. So that is what the condition we're checking to check whether there is any unsaved changes. If there is some unsaved changes, the value will be anything other than zero. If you have saved everything, everything is perfect, then the value will be reset to zero in the system variables. All right, so then, um, so yeah, just show a prompt to the user saying that you wanna save it and whatnot. And then uh, we open the active document and then we use the save as command. This is same as the previous one that we saw. And then we gave uh, we give a name to it. So this is this is all we do here. All right. So now these three functions we can quickly try it out. Uh, so I'm going to AutoCAD. All right. We're going to use the command called uh, netload to do um, to load the plugin. So let's first build the plugin. So right click and build. Okay, and then net load. Select the plugin, open, always load. And first command, what we're gonna try is a new drawing. So I'm gonna type in new, oops, it was there. New drawing, press enter. And then it opens a new drawing, drawing two. So if I try the command again, so I'll say new drawing. It opens a new one. So remember the file name is drawing one, two, three, four, five. It is by default given by AutoCAD when you don't have a file name specified. So that is the first command. And the second command, which is save active drawing. So I'm gonna type in save. It's the E. Save active drawing, press enter. Oops, file access error. Uh, let's see what's the problem here. Save as file name exception drawing uh, 68. So let's quickly go there, 68. Okay, so what could be the, um, the, the problem is, this is actually not doing something here. So that is one of the things what we do is we add a try catch loop. So we don't get this error message within AutoCAD and then it crashes AutoCAD. AutoCAD tend to crash quite a lot because it's a plugin which runs within AutoCAD and then sometimes AutoCAD can't do much. And um, so then it might crash. So let's say, um, so this one is not saved. So let's try to save this one. Let's see if there is any issues with this one. Let's call it test, test, DWG. Okay, so we saved it now. So let's try to run the command, which is save active drawing. Okay, drawing contain custom objects that are not supported in the previous version. The objects cannot be saved to the previous version. Hoo -hoo. So the problem with that one is, if I try to save it, it is just a DWG version issue. So when it tries to save it, um, so there is some conflicts with this one. Probably the library that we use it to save to to run that command um, is not saving to. Okay, I get what it is. Remember, this is I have started as an AutoCAD uh, Civil 3D version. So now the template that it tries to open from here for the Q new. Let's open options. OP and then um, Q new template settings Q new okay do you see it it's a civil 3d file so now when it's try to save it um, as a as a DDBG file so there is some issues with this one so that was the problem so if I open this as in vanilla AutoCAD then uh, it should work fine all right so that's Good thing to know. Um, so then let's try the next one, drawing saved status. Let's check whether the saved status and then uh, and then if it's not saved, then we save it. So this one is already saved, so it shouldn't do anything. Um, so the command is drawing saved. Okay, do you wish to save the drawing? Yes. And then again, it's just because it's a, it's a civil 3D template that was the issue. 
and um, so I think the commands are working fine so if you try to not a cat it will just work fine all right so these are the commands which you saw and uh, thanks guys and subscribe to the channel and spread it around and it's just you know we spend only a little amount of time to to do these videos um, so if you get some subscribers you know we can do a lot more videos a lot more tricks and uh, we have a team so we can we can do a bit more stuff in here all right thanks guys